Uh, well, I, I, I've kind of taken this more as a, as a, um, a community uh, interaction kind of thing, because uh, I've, I've, I've been working in the Boyne for a number of years now, and actually one of the big problems we have is, is keeping the community on side. So that's kind of where I'm coming from this. Communicating the archaeology is actually almost a moot point in the Boyne, because they're, they're archaeologically completely saturated as it is. There, there, there is no space for more tourists. But we'll, we'll get to that in a second. Uh, this is where we're talking about. Um, so Bruna Bonu is, is over there, um, just off, just north of Dublin, about an hour north of Dublin, uh, near Drida in County Louth, although Bruna Bonu is actually in Meath. Uh, so one of only two World Heritage Sites we've got in Ireland, uh, archaeological World Heritage Sites. We've also got the Giant's Causeway up north. Um, but it's very different from the other one, which would be Skellig Michael, which is essentially just a rock. Uh, Brunavonia is a living agricultural landscape and most of it is in private ownership so it's actually quite contentious. Um, inscribed in 91 because of, um, it's got a, a lot of megalithic art but it's also got a huge amount of archaeology, mostly passage tombs but also lots of other stuff going on. And we've got a core area of 750 hectares between two rivers, the, 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 the Boyne and the Mattock to the north and a massive buffer zone of another 2,400 hectares. That's some of the archaeology. Some of you have probably been there. We've got Newgrange, which unfortunately we have Newgrange is, is often treated synonymously with Brunabonia, and it, Newgrange does not equal Brunabonia. It's one of our big problems. Nowth, uh, and that's part of Nowth as well. So we've got these three massive passage tombs, Newgrange, Nowth, and Douth, but also 40-odd other passage tombs, probably eight henges, another eight to 12 um, uh, early medieval enclosures, uh, late medieval stuff, all sorts anyway. Lots of archaeology. Uh, tourism in the in Bruna Boyne and in the Boyne Valley. We have this. This is the Boyne Valley Drive. Um, so this is what this is one of the, the ways with which tourists are attempted to be engaged in in, in the Boyne Valley. Um, what you might notice about this is it's all about monuments and not very much about settlements and people and places. So you've got lots of pictures of, of, of monuments and actually the, the, the settlements within it almost get lost. So Bruna Boyne is up here. Uh, and we've got a massive new grange and tiny, tiny little things which they slain. Uh, and so on and so forth. And that's a, that's a big problem uh, with the local communities. That's a map of where we're talking about, core area, buffer zones, all these dots are, are monuments, um, the, the clusters of the big passage tombs. How do we get to the monuments? Well, we go that way. Um, that's the M1 motorway that comes from Dublin. You come up there, uh, you can't go to the monuments on your own, you have to go to a visitor centre, which is here. Uh, so you come up there, the towns are here, here and over here uh, and you completely miss them so you go up there you get dropped off here a bus will take you to the monuments a bus takes you back to the car park and you go back down the motorway to Dublin <laughs> so that's not very popular with the local community uh, that's a map from uh, the visitor centre compare <laughs> yeah. uh, so somewhat misrepresenting the archaeology of the place Sustainability, authenticity. Um, the exhibition at the moment is fairly static. Uh, there's guided tours of the main monuments, but really only the mon two monuments. Two monuments within the World Heritage Site you can go and visit, Newgrange and Nowth. You can go and visit Douth, but you're encouraged not to. Um, and all of the other monuments um, are almost entirely within public ownership, so you can't visit them. Uh, there's very little freedom of movement. You're, it, it's kind of um, battery tourism. So you're, you're basically <laughs> taken to the monument. You're, you're shown around, taken to the next monument, and taken back on the bus. So there's almost no walking around. There's no online ticketing at the moment. So if you want to go and see something, you have to be up there by 11 o'clock to get a tour. Otherwise, you miss it. So lots of angry tourists who show up at 12 o'clock <laughs> thinking to, they'll go on a tour, and they can't even get on a tour, so they have to go away again. And there's no access to the landscape. But does this matter? It matters to us as people that are interested in archaeologists. But does it matter to the tourists? Which is quite an interesting question. Community engagement. Um, not very much of it. Um, the local community are extremely unhappy with being in a World Heritage Site because they tend to be taken out of what is a very much a top-down management approach. So we have things like this. We have newspaper stories like this which essentially say it's a dead zone because Slane, which is the closest town to the World Heritage Site, never gets visited, or very rarely. Extreme negativity. This is the 2017, we have a new management plan. After 15 years, we have a new management plan. And these are some of the things that, are in, these are some of the things that came, came up in the public consultation, including um, local people suggesting that the, the, the state agencies are actually bumping people off. Um, 
There's four local landowners who've died in suspicious circumstances. <laughs> so lots of animosity. Um, but really, somebody else says, which is quite true, the management plan must at its core have this building of bridges, particularly with local communities. It really needs to be done. What can be done? Tourism. At the moment, Bruno Bonio has a total capacity, as I said, 11 o'clock in the morning, the place is sold out. People need to move out. Um, I, I, I'm nearly there, I'm nearly there. Um, it's, uh, the lift is stuck. Um, we have a new Boyne Valley presentation plan, which is in development, but whether it will actually be implemented, I don't know. I'll skip the second bit, but they're building of trust. We need to build trust. We need to build trust between the local community, the tourist sector, and the archaeologists. And I think that's probably a good enough place to stop. Okay. Thank you.